Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here, and today I'm doing another Tacoma video. Uh, so just got a package in the mail from FedEx, and these are the $100 uh, Tacoma steps from eBay. So, you know, you're probably all thinking, are, you know, $100 steps any good? You know, I figured I'd give these a try. There's definitely a lot better options as far as like rock sliders or and fab or you know the official predator steps but those are you know very expensive you're looking at like the n fab ones being a few hundred dollars and you know predator uh, steps even used can be very expensive and brand new from the dealership uh, they can be quite pricey so i'm just going to do an overview of these and let you, let you guys know if i think it's a worthwhile purchase um, so far i'm pretty impressed um, for 100 bucks shipped to my door um, they seem to be decent quality um, the steps, you know, decent welds. Um, they got these nice footings here. Um, we have some NFAB steps that we picked up used on my wife's Forerunner, and those only have about a two inch uh, tube, where this is uh, a three inch. Now, one of the big complaints that I've seen on places like Tacoma World and just searching the web is that these, within a few months, are just covered in rust and um, just the kind of the coating just chips away. So, what I'm going to do before I put these on is I have a can of just your standard uh, Rust-Oleum truck bed liner. So I'm gonna spray the, a few coats on the top and bottom, and then hopefully that will um, kind of protect it. And if down the road, you know, this starts to flake off, I can always just spray on a little more. But it seems to be a pretty simple installation. It just comes with these legs uh, that you put on the truck and then you just bolt um, these to the legs after you put them on the truck. So I'm going to use a little um, Loctite, just some blue Loctite so the bolts don't back out. It comes with all the hardware I need. But yeah, so I'll, I'm going to get these sprayed down and then probably let them cure for a bit um, for a day or two before I put them in the truck. But that'll be in this video. But yeah, I hope you guys um, find this useful and I'll definitely give my final thoughts. All right, we are ready to start um, putting some truck bed liner on these. Um, just cleaned, cleaned them up real quick with an alcohol wipe and then I um, filled in the holes uh, with some TP just so the threads wouldn't get all gunked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do uh, two coats on the back. I'll let them dry for until later tonight, flip them over and then do another two coats on the top side and then I'm going to let them cure for a few days before I put them on the truck. But yeah, um, they're looking pretty good. There are a few dings. I think a lot of it's just from shipping. Um, you know, it's a pretty big box. But hopefully the truck bed liner will clear up any of the imperfections. But uh, let's get working. It's now the next morning and I got these all uh, sprayed down. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. Nice thing about the bed liner is it lays down. Uh, pretty flat, um, so kind of got a nice uniform uh, texture there. So excited to get these on. I'm still going to wait uh, until tomorrow afternoon to install just to give it, you know, about 48 hours to to dry. Um, got a nice texture to it. And like I said, if, you know, if these get scratched or flake at all, I can always just um, do a quick um, touch up with some more bed liner. Got the Mounts also covered too. Um, looks like there's a one, I don't know if you can see, there's one little run right there, but <clears throat> um, I would sand it out and just kind of spray it again, but um, I don't think you'll be able to see that, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. But yeah, excited to get these on the truck, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, it has now been a few days later, and I have my step rails installed on the truck. I think it looks pretty good if you ask me, um, especially for the price. The um, powder coating has dried up pretty good and uh, it's holding up pretty even for the most part. Let's go over to the passenger side, take a look. <laughs> also seem pretty sturdy too. I can put my whole weight on the truck and they don't flex too much. So yeah, pretty happy with them. I definitely would say 
if you're looking for a cheap option to install on your truck um, for a hundred bucks you can't beat it and you know five ten dollars worth of bed coating in a little bit of uh, time um, probably the only thing I will change is it just has just you know regular bolts um, not, not coated so I'll probably coat those so they don't rust but yeah other than that looking pretty good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to give us a, a thumbs up and subscribe for more content thanks bye